G'day YouTube, this is just a quick overview of the new Linux Mint 17 distribution coming out now in May. So starting off, Linux Mint 17 it is our long term service release which means it's supported until 2019 which is really great to see. Moving on, the default interface is the Cinnamon interface now running on 2.2. Now as you may notice this is actually the Mate interface which is uh, a little bit uh, simpler but uh, very similar still. And uh, of course you can also get to the KDE interface for Linux Mint as well. I just happen to prefer uh, the Mate interface which seems to be just a little bit faster I think. Moving on, uh, the kernel is version 3.13, a move up from 3.11, so a few uh, bug fixes and changes and uh, hardware updates there as well. You can also purchase, or should I say just download this uh, distribution in the 32-bit or 64-bit architectures, so that's good to see as well. Also, uh, just generally speaking, I find this to be quite a stable release, very stable, so it opens up, things fine, and it just works really quite well. Uh, moving on, the software, so as you'll see, it uh, runs with Mozilla Firefox as standard with the most recent one which is 29 so it's the new updated look as well which is good to see and you'll also notice that uh, we have the office so actually LibreOffice which runs on the newer 4.2 or specifically 4.2.4 but uh, a bit of an update there as well let's see the update method update method is apt much like uh, ubuntu so you'll type in something like sudo apt install to install something in the terminal and the package manager is still the debian package manager so you'll be installing and running dot deb files uh... let's see uh... moving on so its typical usage for this desktop is uh... sorry the typical usage is for desktop usage not so much servers or anything like that so pretty stable desktop uh, supported Linux distribution there so that's good to see as well and uh, all in all that's pretty much it I don't have a great more deal more to say about it at all except to slur up all my words but uh, that's pretty much it guys hope you've enjoyed please leave a message please subscribe and uh, thanks for your time cheers guys I, I might also uh, mention that uh, Linux Mint is now becoming one of the most popular Linux distributions overtaking or eclipsing Ubuntu in recent times so uh, of course it's based off Ubuntu and in some cases Debian as well but I won't get too much into that now so cheers again thank guys thanks for your time and uh, have a good one take care ciao